Gotta hurt someone. Weird. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Um, so what we have here is we have an existing repository over here. That's our Let's Learn Git repository. Um, by the way, it's okay that this one's called Git Tutorial Git and this one's called Let's Learn Git. It'll still work just fine. So, um, if you wanted to make a new one, then you'd do that, all that, but we already made one, so we start here. So the first thing you want to do, git remote add origin, and paste the URL. I, you can just copy and paste this. Boom. Oops, how did I miss that G? Oh, no, this is going to take so long. I, I, if anyone knows like a good way to quickly move your cursor in the command line, please let me know. That would be very helpful. Um, boom, git remote add origin with the URL. So now the local repository is connected to the remote repository. Okay. Ooh, that's how I missed the G. Ooh. Um, okay, the next one is git push dash u, so that dash u is a flag, origin master. Git push dash u, origin master. Boom. Now, it's going to take some time as it pushes, and, and, oh, hidden file.txt, file has been touched.txt, git file.txt, and if I can remember, I think git file is the one with text, boom, nano is way better than vi, enough said, take that, Jeremy. <laughs> um, okay, so, this is cool, now I have a remote version of my local repository. Um, and you can even say I come on here and I want to, um, let's see, file has been touched. I'm going to open this with text edit. Um, touch. Uh, what's that? I forget that one. <laughs> I'm trying to think of some song reference or whatever. Uh, touch, touch. I'm just going to say touch, S. Uh, command S to save, and Command W to uh, quit out. Now, text edit. Okay, now I've added that, so I'll say, just like we did before, git add. I can just say, like, file has been touched, but I'll just do git, because it's shorter, just do git dash A, um, and then git commit dash M, the comment, let's see, added text to file has been touched. Boom. Um, there we go. Uh, and now, file has been touched. So I committed it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go git. This is a new command. Git um, push. And what that's going to do is it's going to create our origin. Sometimes you don't need to say origin master. I don't know. Sometimes you do. I like to be safe, but I don't know. I also like to be lazy. <laughs> so just see what works. All right, git push origin master is going to push this local commit to the remote commit. And now let's see it do its magic. Woohoo! Three changes. Um, uh, what was it? File has been touched. Ooh, touch. So cool. These are just text files. Um, normally, you're gonna have actual code files, and we'll we'll see that later. Um, and what this does also is that you can have someone else clone this repository, and then they can like push to the repository, and then you can come in and say git pull, and you can get all of that. Um, I'm already up to date because no one made any changes because no one else cares about this dumb project. <laughs> but uh, git pull, then you can get the um, you can get what cha uh, the other changes that people made to your repository, pull those on to your um, local repository. So then you can make changes, and that's how you can like collaborate with people that are like really far away from you. Um, so that's really fun. Uh, awesome. I think that that's all for this one. You know how to set up a Git repository. You know how to connect it. You know how to use the command line. Everything's looking pretty good. All right, so in the next tutorial, we are going to start making this relate to FRC, and that's going to be awesome. So stick around, um, uh, and I hope that was helpful.